Good morning, friends. It's uh, 7.15 in the morning. Um, I'm going to try to make this video as brief as possible. Um, and I'm going to try not to cry. Okay, so, since we've been back from vacation, um, I, my plan was, before I went on vacation, when I came back, I would, over a week or so, you know, put out my vacation videos. Um, but, you know, sometimes things don't go according to plan, right? <laughs> um, we've had a lot going on here. Um, the landscapers I showed, I think, in my spring flowers video, uh, some work that they had done. We had them come back to do some more work, and I wanted to show that to you guys, um, but... Uh, the month has just been full of rain and it's hard to get out there. Um, we were able to finally plant our garden. Josiah even made a really nice scarecrow and I've been wanting to show you our garden. I wanted to show you like his scarecrow that he made <laughs> and um, it's, you know, it's usually really rainy in the morning. Let me show you out here now. See, it's all wet. It's dreary looking. And um, so, yeah, it's just hard to get out there and, and to show you. And matter of fact, it's misting right now. I can see it out there. And um, uh, let's see. I didn't get to show you. We got new carpets. <laughs> I finally got new carpets about a week or so ago. Um, we had put up our um, bunting banner things. Um, so, you know, the outside's been coming along. I've wanted to show you. And like I say, you know, it's raining. As a matter of fact, the grass is getting long. We cut it on Sunday. It needs to be cut today, but I'm not going to be able to cut it until rain moves out. And see, that's the thing. When you are able to finally get outside, it's to do something, usually to cut the grass or whatever. And, um, so like I got to try to cut the grass today if, the rain stops and the sun comes out and, you know, dries all the dampness off the grass. Uh, so, anyway, <laughs> we'll, we'll see about that. Um, before we went on vacation, my... This is... You're going to have to bear with me. This is going to be really hard. The rest of this video. Um, my husband's uncle who's very dear to me as well. He's, he's 95 though. He's, he's lived a very long life, good life. Um, they had to call hospice. He had even stopped eating. They said that, you know, he probably only had, you know, a few days to a week left or whatever. Then he started eating again and, you know, he's still there. He's still in hospice. Um, so, my husband got a text from his cousin yesterday um, that the uncle's doing bad again. He, he stopped eating again. And they're, you know, giving, you know, short periods of time. Hold on just one second because I got to feed the dogs. They're, they're cooking. Okay. Uh, so about a week, a little over a week ago, um, my cousin sent me a message out of the clear blue. Um, you know, it was probably about a week and a half ago. She sent me a message saying that her mom wasn't doing good. My aunt, this is my dad's sister. Now, my dad it was the youngest of his siblings. He had three older sisters. This is the sister that's before my father. Okay, so anyway... Um, my cousin had sent a message that <clears throat> her mom, my aunt, wasn't doing good. And she said, please pray for her. So, you know, of course I did that. And it was, I think, like a couple days later, she sent me another message. And she said that hospice was called. And, and they were giving my aunt about another week. Um, she passed away. A few days later is last weekend. So my dad and 
his sisters, so the two youngest of the siblings, <laughs> they passed away before the older siblings did. I still have my two other aunts. In the meantime, I've taken Lucy to the vet. She had to go for her yearly exam. And you guys might remember, those of you that have been my friends for a long time, um, several years ago, about four or five years ago, I think 2011, Lucy had uh, a little lump. Boxers are known to get lumps, and most of them are benign. She got a lump under her chin, and they took it out. It was very hard to take it out um, because all their saliva glands are all in there, and you can't mess with those because they have to drool. And so, over the next couple years, it started to grow back a little bit, but it was real soft. And the vet, you know, just said, you know, just leave it alone. Um, it's better to leave it alone because that was a difficult surgery. Um, it's a benign lump, so it'll be all right. It'll probably grow and get bigger. Um, if it gets too big, then we'll worry about taking it off. So, we've been fortunate over the last several years, even though it started to grow, it really didn't get in the way or anything. Now it's gotten bigger. And so uh, then we notice another soft, lumpy mass. It's not like round. It's like oblong a little bit. And it was on her shoulder. And um, so they tested that and like mass cells came out. And mass cells, they could either be benign or malignant. She was uh, scheduled for surgery this morning to have those removed and um, while she was back in the vet's office last week they decided to go ahead and do her blood panel work that they do before surgery on all dogs before surgery they have to do a blood panel and um, the vet called yesterday and um, said that uh, her blood her white blood cell counts were at um they're supposed to be at 17,000 hers were at 80,000 so he said you know something's going on there and I said cancer right he says yeah it looks like it it's usually leukemia and um and at this point there's nothing that they can do so he said I'll call you back because I'm, I'm waiting for an a call from an, oncol an oncologist friend of his so um, he called back a few hours later and the oncologist, uh, Lacey here also agreed that, um, it was leukemia and we have about, um, 30 to 60 days left with her. And, um, he says, what's going to happen is, um, you know, see like right now she's eating, she's drinking, she's still playing, she's still, um, her normal self, you know, but. Um, she'll start slowing down and she'll get to the point where she's really not eating anymore and um, then we just take it from there so I'm waiting for the sun to come back out because you know I'm always filming my dogs and I want to spend as much time filming Lucy, that's the one thing, um, you know, I have all this footage, even from when she was a little puppy. I got my first camera, um, that, you know, a digital camera in 2008, I think it was, and, um, I was able to, you know, start, you know, videotaping my dogs, and, um, even before I put them into videos, I have, I have them on my computer, so... See, that's, that's the nice thing about having a digital camera. And even if you, I know a lot of you, you don't, you have YouTube channels, but you don't make videos. I encourage you to at least get a digital camera, and then you probably already have one. Film your children, film your grandchildren, film your pets, film everything, and just save it on your computer. The thing is, computers will crash. They get... They get worn out, they get viruses, all sorts of things. You have to get one of those um, backup systems. I think it, the one that we got, it was like, um, I don't know, $150, $200, something like that. It's a little box. You can go over to Best Buy or whatever and buy one. 
and copy everything that you have on your computers and save it and then every time that you're filming and making new videos and so forth taking new pictures you copy those and you put them over on your backup system so that you always have it because I've had since I started filming I've had now let's see is this my third or my second laptop I think it's my third laptop I've had a couple of them that I've had a lot of things on and that's where I usually make my videos is on my laptop that's where I edit and everything and um, for all those crashing as they have um, you see, if I wouldn't have saved all of those files, I wouldn't have anything left except what's in my YouTube videos, you know. So anyway, Lucy will be 10. June, I think June 25th is her birthday. Um, if she makes it till then, she'll be 10. And 10 is usually the life expectancy of a boxer. They say 8. 8 to 10 years, 13 years is pushing it. And the reason why is because um, they get all those lumps and a lot of them turn into cancer and that sort of thing. Our boxer, Noah, that she died before we moved here, I told you guys about her. She turned 10. Her birthday was in May. And she died like the first week of August of 2007. And she was born in 1997. So she was 10. And then our boy boxer, Aslan, was born October of 99. And he died December of 2009. So he was just two months past his 10th birthday. And then, of course, Ellie, Chloe's sister, she had that bone cancer. She, she was only two. Um, and Lucy, now she'll be 10. So, anyway... Chloe and Ellie just had their birthdays in February and May. They're seven. And uh, Lacey over there, she's um, she's three. She's going to be four in August. And um, so pretty soon it'll be back to, you know, three boxers instead of four. And I'm glad we got Lacey. Um, I think that was, you know, God going before us and letting there be another one so the other two can bond with her over these last couple years. The other thing is um, Mr. Binks, our black cat, um, he's 15 now. He turned 15 in April and he's been having some health issues too. I don't think he has that much longer. So anyway, um, you know, this is life, right? Life and death is a part of our life and and everything and it'll be okay um Lucy's like all the other girlies is spoiled rotten um she's been Miss Queenie that's one of our nicknames for is Miss Queenie because she's bossy she thinks she just rules the place um they've all had very pampered lives very sheltered lives and so um she had a good life and Obviously, she's going to be missed, but um, I, I have a month to two months now to just get used to the idea that she's not going to be here. So, and we're working on that, all of us as a family. Um, let's see, what other updates? Most of it was I wanted to show you guys outside and I wanted to get back to regular vlogging, but we've had all the rain. And now death is moving in. <laughs> um, my husband's uncle, my aunt, now Lucy. Uh, so I'll come back as I can to do videos. And especially I want to be filming a lot. So if you see a lot of Lucy in my videos, that's why. But even if I don't put them on YouTube, I'm going to be filming Lucy a lot. Even if I'm just saving it for my own personal use. So anyway, that's all I wanted to tell you guys. Um, I've got to get a few things done here today. I have to get a, a urine sample of Lucy's and take it into the vet because we think she has a bladder infection on top of it. And the vet's going to give her a steroid. And she's going to be on a steroid now for the rest of the time to help with any kind of pain or anything that she might be in. 
So, anyway, I will see you guys next time. What's that? <laughs> Three girlies there. And one girly over there. Could four of you not get up here together? Ellie, you're blocking the way. You're blocking Lucy. We want to see you, but we want to see the other ones too. Oh, and here comes another one. Ellie, you're in the way. There's Lucy. Good girl. And what are you sniffing? I know. I'll come around this other way. How's that? This is what's nice about having a dual staircase. We just come around like that. Now you're going to block Chloe. Good girls. Good girls. Look at that. Lucy, look. Lucy. Chloe, I would have had a nice shot if you would have gone out of the way. We can't see Lucy. You're all blocking her. There we go. Good girls. Oh, look, you're in the mirror. Good girls. You're a good girl, too. Boxers always standing over each other. Funny girls. <laughs>